Now, my good friend Sim asked me a very difficult question, a very fucking difficult question. I'm gonna to attempt to answer it in this video. He said, wherein thou can you find your true self? Where can one find his true self? Well, before I answer this question, I think we need to be very clear about what we are going to categorize as the true self, what we're going to define as the true self. On one hand, we have the self or the idea that our true self is who we were before the corruption of societal ideas, who we are at the core, what our natural affinity is to send things. But this self here is often shaped still by the events in our lives, by our parents, by our upbringing, by egoic forms, by egoic influences. This is the egoic self, who we perceive ourselves to be. The problem with the egoic self is that it is malleable. Who I think I am now, my version of myself, can be entirely and completely different to who I think I am in 10 years and is often different to who I think I was 10 years ago. My ideas change, my thinking patterns change, and a variety of other things change. These things change because the egoic self is malleable, as we said before. Now, we can't have the egoic self as the grounds or as the basis of the true self because it is too volatile. It can be changed by small things. If I was brought up by religious parents, by Christian parents in Europe, I would be a completely different person to if I was brought up by Islamic parents in Pakistan. These two variables, the religion and the location, can change your idea of yourself completely. So how can we have the true self be something that's so volatile, so easily changed by one or two variables? The things that happen in our life that determine our egoic self, the events are not in our control. So who we become, or who our ego believes we are, cannot be our true self, it's not in our control. Our true self needs to be something that's consistent, something that's constant, something that was, has been there since we were born. And the only thing I can think of, and a lot of Eastern philosophers, is our relationship with awareness, our relationship with consciousness itself. Now, consciousness is simply our relationship with life, our subjective experience, the field. This is the only thing that's there from the time that you are a baby to now that you're an adult. The physical form changes. Every cell in your body changes. Your organs get more complex. Your brain gets more complex. Everything about you besides the fact that you think you're the same person changes. Even your thoughts change each time you think about them. Your memories, your brain changes itself. We've all heard about neuroplasticity. So consciousness or your relationship with awareness is the only thing that changes, is the only thing that's consistent, that's constant. Now, you might bring greater awareness to your consciousness, if that makes any sense. Awareness being aware of itself. But that does not mean that it wasn't there. You might stop paying more attention to it, but it was always there since you were born. And this is where the true self can lie because in your relationship with awareness, you can find out who you truly are once all the egoic forms of your identity are stripped away. That, and meditation is a very good process for this because meditation is the only process in which instead of exerting ourselves outwards, you observe inwards. It's a very special process. I'm sure Sim can tell you all about it. He's done a lot of these retreats where he goes away and just meditates all day. So when you meditate, you get closer to your true self. And after maybe a couple of years of meditation, 
you might actually find out who your true self is or what your true self is. But what I'm going to hint at in this video, what I'm going to allude at is that your true self is found through your relationship with awareness. So to try and investigate that and you'll get closer to finding your true self than going through egoic forms. Anyway, that's the video, guys. I hope I somewhat answered that question. If you like that, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. Let's discuss down the bottom. So who are you truly? Who is your true self? Peace. Do it! Just do it!